toot, toot, baby. It's time to ride the funk train. It's Funk Master V here up on the mothership, squeaky chair and all. And we're going to deep dive, uno mas, mi amigos, into the Atari 50th anniversary celebration. And we're going to look today at a game included in the 103 that I probably was never going to play because it looked confusing, it looked crazy. I didn't want to touch it with a 10-foot pole. I didn't want to give it eye contact. Plus, it has a movie tie-in. You know how crampy those things are. But when I started horsing around with it, I found out not only is it fun, not only is it kind of funny, uh, it's simple, real simple. So today, I'm going to help you get into a game included in the Atari 50th anniversary celebration called Cloak and Dagger. <laughs> Hola, childs. It's time for Funkmaster V's getting hip with the Atari 7800. Where Funkmaster V, musician, ghost hunter, hat flipper, pro wrestler, and comedian takes you on a tour of all things cool about the Atari 7800. Are you ready to get your groove on? Because it's about to get funky up in here. So, a weird video game you've probably never played with a movie tie-in of a weird film you've probably never seen. And sabotage. This is starting to get good. What? Just like Cloak and Dagger. My kind of sh So like I've said before, this is a game that I would have never ever played unless it was in this collection. It was a rare game. It was conversion kit for uh, arcade machines like Robotron 2084. So, this is a dual joystick video game. So if you like uh, Super Smash TV, if you like Robotron, if you like Black Widow, same kind of thing. You drive your man around with one stick and you shoot in all sorts of different directions with the other. This game, believe it or not, is not even as complicated as Robotron 2084. I know looking at it, there's conveyor belts, there's arrows flying around, there's robots, there's hijinks, there's tomfoolery, but really, this game is more like Food Fight than any other game I've ever seen. And you can't get much more simple than Food Fight. You go from one spot to the next. That's what I want to tell you. This game is simple, it's easy, and it's fun. Now all this subterfuge around has some importance, but most of it does not. So let's talk about what we're looking at here. The mint green little canisters are just in your way, but you can walk over them and you get points. No big deal, don't worry about those. The red ones, the red canisters, those bombs, don't touch those. They'll kill you dead, bada boom. Uh, the little things that look like dookie, like piles of poo, I don't know what those are supposed to be, but those are like that's a, that's a mystery gimmick. So if you step on that, you can get bonus points. It can slow you down. It can speed you up. Uh, it can also give you an extra man. Uh, the most important jive besides that are they're like little white files. One has an X on it. Easy to remember. X means extra man. Cool. We want those. Or extra woman. Uh, you know, because of fairness. Uh, the other one is a white... Uh, S, which means map. What? I don't know. Maybe it means safe way or safe path because you'll need a map. Now, you look at this game, you're like, why do I need a map? It's one screen, and it's pretty easy to understand. There's a bunch of crap in the middle, and i got to get around all that jive. Well, the map is good because about every fourth screen or so, you'll run into a room that's got hidden mines. Oh, scary. If you've collected the maps, it's going to show you a safe passageway through the mines, so you're going to make out easy peasy. Don't worry about it. If you missed a map or two, eh, make it a little hairy. What else is going on? You got enemies, you blow the hell out of them, and in the middle you've got this pink flashing uh, weird thing that I thought looked like an anus, but it actually is a bomb with a fuse on it. Uh, so yeah. You do have a time limit. The bomb is going to blow up on every level in this game, at least of all the levels that I've seen. Now, what doesn't make sense 
is it, you can ignite that fuse by hitting uh, your igniter button or your fuse button and you throw like a little, I don't know what it is, like a little tchotchke or some sort of flame thing out of your body um, at the bomb and you can blow the thing up yourself. You get massive bonus points uh, and you got to get out quick or you'll uh, fry your ass. Uh, I don't know, understand the logic of this, but whatever. So, uh, once you uh, get far enough, you'll go into some underground caverns. Pretty cool. You can shoot through the earth with your arrows. Uh, kind of like, it kind of has a boulder dash kind of vibe to it. Uh, Dig Dug, maybe. And then, also, let's not forget the comedy scenes of this weird, green-looking goof in between the levels. He looks like an Amway salesman with a briefcase, kind of like a chubby Riddler. Uh... He's a ginger. Uh, you'll see that when he has his hat taken off. I don't know. It's it's a uh, it's a it's not a good look. He looks like an employee or a mascot of Ronald McDonald. Uh, not a cool looking good guy. One of the best sequences is where the grabber comes out of the elevator wall to take his hat off. Yes, the bad guys could have impaled him with a spike to the brain or decapitated him with a saw blade. But they hate that MF and hat, and I agree with them. Now, here's the other thing about this game. Uh, as it progresses, they add some stuff like bubbling pools of acid. Oh, or fork trucks that ricochet your shots back at you. Uh, there's some sort of uh, traps. Uh, but it's basically the same gameplay. And this game does not care how far you go. In fact, you can skip levels they'll give you levels you can start at almost any level you want you want to you want to go to more levels you want to go to level 50 kid here go to level 50 don't know what the logic is of that i know this was an arcade game atari was all about um giving you extra bonus points for giving you extra levels so uh you know you'll play dip more difficult screens and you'll lose your coins faster uh but you know hey in a in a world in, in an existence where atari games um are very difficult. iRobot, Crystal Castles, Tempest, the difficulty ramps up fast. This is a fun game because you can relax and really, man, sit down 10, 15 minutes and uh, just kick butt. Rock and roll. You'll, you'll be treated to some uh, humorous elevator uh, comedy skits, I guess you could call them. Unfortunately, there's uh, you know no lovemaking or anything like that, no hijinks in the elevator. Uh, that would be a different game. Another gym in the Atari 50th anniversary celebration. Holy cow. And hey, man, if you ever talk to this Agent X fellow, uh, tell him to shave that uh, porn stash off, man. It makes him look like a creeper.